Alright, so I'm going to go over my furnaces a little bit here. Um, the one on the right toward the back, that's the one with the uh, coiled heating elements like a ceramic kiln. Uh, it takes a crucible. And the one to the front left is just using a, a stove burner. And um, it has the refractory packed all around it. And there's my 220 plug. It's a 20 amp circuit. It's on a 20 amp breaker in the panel. So now I've got the lids off. Yeah, let's get a little better light here. So now the uh, the Gingri style one has the coil heating elements and the crucible lifts out. Of course everything's cold right now. I wouldn't be doing this with my hand. And then this one here just has a spiral stove burner in the very bottom and it's got a little bit of residue of the last melt that I did. And then with these handles here on the sides I just pick it up pick the whole thing up I unplug it first and it's uh, small enough that I can just grab it and tilt it to pour into the molds so now I'm gonna fire up the this one here and you can see the element glowing those elements heat up like orange hot if you've ever boiled water on the stove on full blast you know how you know how they look okay so I've got the lights turned off except for in the other corner so you can see better but down there in the bottom the burner just lights right up it looks more pink in the in the picture but it's more it's actually orange and uh, that melts aluminum real nice and I use that the lid there to help hold in the heat and it melts faster with with the melt covered and that is the smaller probably the six inch burner as opposed to the eight inch you could probably use an eight inch one but you'd have to make the whole thing bigger in the the thickness of that is probably two inches and underneath there is probably another two inches 